I mean, that is a classic. Prince's Kiss hit number one 30 years ago today. And all this half hour, we are remembering the artist and, of course, his music. And oh, how great that music was. Out in 1982, way before the turn of the century, 1999 only got to number 12 on the charts. We talked to Prince about it in the year 1999 is Y2K fears raged. Interestingly enough, it turned out like I wrote about it. There's a lot of people running around drenched in fear. <laughs> In 1983, Little Red Corvette went to number six on the Billboard's Hot 100 chart. Prince said he got the idea for the song when he dozed off in Lisa Coleman's Pink Edsel after an exhausting all-night recording session. Purple Rain, Purple Rain. 1984's Purple Rain, the soundtrack to the movie, hit the top of the charts for 24 weeks. Stevie Nicks says Prince initially asked her to write the lyrics, which was originally 11 minutes long. Purple Rain. Each verse of Purple Rain was about people in his life, including then-girlfriend Apollonia and his bandmates. When Doves Cry also released in 1984 and also a chart topper, Prince's biographer said the song was inspired by his relationship with Vanity Six member Susan Moonsey, whom he would break up with a year later. Emotionally, I stay uh, centered through music. It's the best medicine in the world. 84 also saw the release of Let's Go Crazy, also a number one hit. But who can forget this? It won him a Grammy, and Julia Roberts was a fan in Pretty Woman. I just want your extra time and your. The hit Cream topped the charts in 1991. It's his only number one single that was not associated with a movie. 32 more albums would follow, including his greatest hits, making him worth a reported $300 million. He really did love to learn, and often he would have dinners at his house and invite educators, politicians, musicians, entertainers, just to sit around and talk so he could keep up on all the things that were going on in the world. Such an interesting man. He was actually working on his memoir when he died. It didn't have a title yet, but it was being described as an unconventional poetic journey of his life that was scheduled to be released in the fall of 2017.